been a while since my last update uh, and uh, I want to say thank you to all of you and uh, uh, looking and watching uh, my videos uh, well what is about today today is about a general review of all the features of uh, modification stuff that I have started right here on my CRX I got a feeling that probably is about a year or a little bit more than a year then I'm using all the components inside the engine and not only transmission and stuff plus uh, all the rest driving in different conditions right? different temperature, winter, summer, all that good stuff and I need to uh, report Report. I need. I would like to uh, make this video to share with you what are the pros and the cons of all the setup that you guys know I have started over here. I'm surprised that a lot of you enjoy the reviews of the clutch. The XTD clutch stage two, and I have installed in the CRX. Well, let's talk about it. Another year is passed. I put a little bit more power in the engine and stuff. I don't have a single complaint. Nothing at all. Nothing. The clutch is doing amazing. I'm boosting. I'm doing bumper to bumper situation. I'm going uphill, downhill. I have little extra power. I'm increasing the boost. Now I'm about around 12, 13 psi. And uh, the clutch is doing amazing. It's not rough when it's engaged. It doesn't slip. It doesn't slip. Stuff like that. Of course, uh, the power not a skyrocket number. I'm guessing maybe 170, 60, 170 probably. Maybe a, more than that, but the clutch is holding very well. And uh, I'm planning to install the same clutch to the next vehicle that you don't see, but it's just next to this one that my son is working on it. Exactly the same setup. The trust bearing no fail. Clutch is not noisy. I don't see any vibration, things like that. So this is about the clutch. Please, for moderate power, it's no race, use, go for it. I cannot say the same for the stage three that I have on the Nissan Skyline over there because the stage three, uh, I think, is taking a long time to break in and perform as it should because I just do a road applications so I'm waiting a little longer to give you another honest review one more thing uh, this is not going to be easy but I have to say max speed in road a T25 turbocharger apply in this vehicle uh, super fast puller if you're looking for uh, a moderate boost it's probably the very well set up again this is a simple single cam d16 y8 with the a6z and no VTAC. also i have long runners on the intake and I have, I call it the horn, the longest runner I can have on the exhaust. I got that one is probably uh, helps to build up a little bit of pressure or back pressure in the cylinder half, so it may, uh, when it goes, uh, helps the spoon on the turbocharger, but still, almost, I think it's three years using it, zero issue, no smokes, 
no vibrations, no power loss, so I strongly recommend it. a T25 for this. There is a cons to be considered. The T25 comes with the water cooling options and it has a German bearing, so it's oil hydrostatic bearing. My recommendation is in a CRX or a D16 by 8 as well as other series of D16, take the chance, take the risk to not manipulate the original oil pump. I'm sorry, I'm gonna piss off somebody. Do not do it. Spend 150 bucks, buy an ACL, I think it's called like that, high pressure pump, but then it's for the D15, put it into this one. Be picky with your uh, mallet millage for the oil, eliminate the oil stick and game over. And that is what I think has to be done. The pump is running, just, I, I know you know, but the pump is running from 2000 RPM on the idle, let's go on idle, a 40 PSI. And after, to, after 2000 RPM is solid between 90 and 90, 80, 90, and 100. I don't know, I see 80, 90 PSI. You know already what's going on. Complain about uh, Y8 crankshaft, all uh, rod, knock, knock, uh, VTAC engagement, all that stuff is gone. Straightforward. I don't care what everybody said. This is, this is it. This is it. Eh? That's it. Sorry about that. I'm very straightforward about that. So the T25, if you supply correctly with the right amount of pressure and flow, no issue. Make sure to have the orifice installed into the turbo charger for the water or LIPO, whatever is the, the current, as a different story. In this car, I cannot apply uh, a wide radiator because you guys know the, the available room in the trunk is not abundant and I have this double row reduced size radiator and also has to keep the turbocharger uh, at the right temperature it's not going to work it's gonna reach it's very long but sooner or later in the warmer days it's gonna reach a time a temperature where it's not gonna be enough to keep the engine cool that's it. If you run in a cold weather, all right. But if you go like long distances or you keep it on boost for a while, that uh, heat exchanger is not capable to keep it. So keep this in mind. You may have to compromise and go for a different turbo that is no water cooled with all the inconvenience of the case. If you are looking to go and keep the car on a few PSI for boost or maybe living uphill and driving uphill for a long time. Okay? I don't want to make this video too long, but I think this technical information are very valuable. There are different subjects uh, you can skip, but uh, talking about it is pretty awesome. Okay? I got as my friends in class. Now, wrap. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. You guys know I did the wrap with the CRX myself and it did not change. It's not changing. Nothing. This is an Axis by the Metro Styling. Whatever. I buy it over there because it's a free shipping. This is Red Axis. It's not the best. Yes, he has a little orange peeling, feeling, whatever. It does not move a bit no matter what. And when I wash it, sometimes I it react right away. It's amazing. It sticks on plastic as well on metal, bondo, no matter what. It's on the trunk where it's always, you know, hot and cold. Nothing. I have it all around. So these are the uh, subject for this video. I may gonna make another one later. And I'm thinking about it because it's going to be a little bit more technical and it's going to share my experience uh, 
of the guitar are pissed on applications. Oops, this is hard. Because a lot of people will disagree with me. They, I'm gonna hear a lot of things. All right, I respect any of anybody else's opinion. But I have to share what is the experience with the guitar piston in this uh, vehicle for road application and low boost. It's gonna get better. It's not very nice. Sorry about that. Eh? Thank you to arrive at this point. It means that you were patient enough to listen to my stories. But believe it, believe me, this is based on uh, real things. Eh? So today, let me see, just to remind myself, we are the rest the clutch. Come up, I will bite again. I will, I'm gonna install it into this car. This, the wrap, 100%, Axis is the brand from Metro Styling. Nothing called before, for us, not, nothing professional, made, handmade, all really professional, please. Amazing, I don't have, any problem and the T25 coming from my speeding rods is another plus 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 the cons is water coolers so be aware to provide a sufficient uh, radiator size to have this uh, thing done I do have some ideas but it's gonna call me crazy and just gonna address this later on which maybe I need to make more researches but I'm thinking this to buy a motorcycle radiator a small one not too big and put it in series to the existing one eh? coming out from the turbocharger what I mean is this then I'm closing the video <laughs> I supply the turbocharger with a bike with a derivation from the heated core uh, get into the turbocharger at the exit of the turbocharger and put it back into the circuit. I would like to apply a radiator after it. So whenever it's coming out, talking about glyco, it's coming out from the uh, from the turbocharger body, passing to a radiator for a prime stage, a first stage of cooling, just enough and then go back into the main system. I'm convinced that this we may uh, solve the overheating issue. I don't have any overheating issue, please. But I notice it, then uh, it can happen. Be aware, thank you very much. And uh, I'll see you next time again. Thank you for your support. You guys are amazing. You ask me questions. Sometimes I answer, sometimes I'm not. Uh, you look watching my little videos. This is amazing because sometimes, believe it or not, I see very uh, no sense at all things out there, and I feel sorry for people that are following those nonsenses and then getting in trouble with money. I don't need that. I hope that these videos are gonna help you to stay out of those kind of trouble. Think with your mind. If you hear, this is the. Eh? Thank you very much.